crack the mysteries of the Earth. Discover the energy that drives a planet and builds mountains. Uncover buried treasure and see what makes mountains blow. Find out what shapes the top of the Earth and explore the secret world below with me, Nick, on the rocks. Eastern Washington is one of the richest agricultural regions on the planet. Tree fruit, hay, vegetable crops, hops, mint, you name it, it all thrives in the rich volcanic soil, more than 100 feet deep in places. This is the fruit bowl of the nation. But did you know that this five and a half billion dollar industry sits directly on top of ancient giant lava flows? 15 million years ago, volcanic eruptions blasted molten lava across eastern Washington. That happened more than 300 times. Each of these lavas is more than 50 feet deep across more than 200 miles. Unimaginable. It must have taken a giant volcano to make these giant lava flows, right? Mount Rainier is the biggest volcano in the Pacific Northwest. Did the giant lava flows come from Rainier? No. Basalt lavas like these do not come out of mountains like Mount Rainier. It's a chemistry thing. There's less silica here than the lavas in Mount Rainier. These guys traveled 300 miles the lava flows in Mount Rainier, five miles or less. When they were active, the eastern Washington lavas looked like Hawaiian flows do today, orange rivers of molten rock. But the Hawaiian lavas are tiny compared to eastern Washington's giant lava flows, which totally buried a third of our state. Those lava flows are known as the Columbia River basalts because the Columbia River has cut deeply enough to expose just a couple of these lava flows. These guys are giant. There's more than two miles of lava beneath this boat. More than 300 separate eruptions, most of them between 17 and 15 million years ago, flooded much of the inland Pacific Northwest. A rugged mountainous landscape was almost completely buried in thick lava. Almost. This is Steptoe Butte, a mountaintop that kept its chin up above the deluge of lava. Think of the hundreds of mountain peaks that weren't so fortunate. They're down there under the basalt. But hey, what about that giant volcano? If it's not Rainier, where is it? Probably not where you'd expect. Less than 25 miles from Ritzville and the freeway, we've got our volcano. This is it. Not a mountain, a flat area in eastern Washington that has evidence of an eruption 15 million years ago. This is a fissure coming right through this area, a deep crack. I know you wanted a mountain, but we got something different. There's something in this picture that's unusual. It's very rare. That red stuff across the way, that's volcanic spatter. The fissure is right next door here. Magma coming out of the sky and falling right where I'm standing. So this is a close-up look at spatter. I mean, it's, it's basalt, but it's like whipped butter like pumice that's dark colored. You can imagine these globs of spatter just falling and then on the ground 15 million years ago. And here's the resting place of a bunch of these guys. There's tens of vertical feet of these globs that have just fallen. And they're still relatively fragile. I mean, you can pull that right out. Here's another piece of spatter right here. 15 million years ago, this is ground zero for the volcanic activity. 